Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. This morning there by Sandy Mush in North Carolina, they had an earthquake. It was a magnitude 3.4. 6.09 a.m. local time, and 443 people said they felt this earthquake. Sandy Mush has a population of close to 1,300 people. So when they said 443 people felt this earthquake, I was very impressed. Yeah, it was a 4.3, but USGS said it was a magnitude 3.2. For some reason, when I click on the felt reports, yeah, um, the little blocks don't show up. I don't know why. The earthquake station that I found was most useful was this one up over here. Down here is the 3.4. There was also a magnitude 1.8. And that was on the 26th of last month. So let's zoom in to this location. Let's see, there's the 1.8 and there's the 3.4. Supposedly, I don't know if it's true or not, uh, but Sandy Mush got its name because they were making mush, which is a meal made from corn, uh, cooked into a gelatin, and then uh, baked into square cakes, um, sometimes with syrup put over the top of it. And what happened was they were making this mush along some river and the sand got into their food. So they called it Sandy Mush. Mush evidently is a very popular meal on the East Coast. There has been a reactivation of some of these ancient faults. Uh, supposedly there's no faults um, that are Holocene, meaning newer faults. And the fault earthquakes that do happen are relatively shallow. To the north, there's the Rampable Fault. According to geologists, uh, most of the earthquakes that are the larger ones are a magnitude 3. Well, this one was a 3.4, and they say that damaging earthquakes don't occur in this area. Well, I don't believe that. In 1861, there was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake near Wilkes County. That earthquake was felt from Washington, D.C. to Charleston, South Carolina, and Cincinnati, Ohio. Then in 1916, there was a magnitude 5.5. It was named the Skyland Earthquake. It occurred in the Skyland, Waynesville, Tryon, and Forest City area. That one also caused damage. It was felt over 200,000 square miles, including the Carolinas, Alabama, Kentucky, and West Virginia. Then in 1926, there was a magnitude 5.2. It was named the Mitchell County Earthquake. It toppled chimneys and damage including cracks in homes foundation, dislodged foundations, broken water pipes, and fallen glassware from shelves. This here is the seismic hazard map from USGS. Um, this is from 2008. I did get two different monitors to download the data. The one on the left is from Sandy Mush. And then the one on the right is from Murphy, North Carolina. Uh, you can see here the one from Sandy Mush. There was a foreshock just before. Let me make that bigger. And for those of you that have larger screens to look at this on, you can see it was a magnitude 3.41. Let's see what we can do with the seismic signature. I'll try and make that bigger. Okay, yeah, that smaller quake doesn't show up on here. Um, but Sandy Mush has been having uh, quite a few earthquakes. We've got this one right here. Um, let me pull this up. Okay, we got another one right there. Yeah, these are slow moving earthquakes, very slow moving or slow moving tremors is what they call them. Yeah. And you see that when you got um, plates moving when we got the Atlantic Ocean slowly moving uh, west. 
And then we got another one here. And a little blip there. I'll have to make that bigger. Okay, a little blip there. Let me bring this up. Another blip there. Yeah, these are all slow moving earthquakes. And then up here, let's see, 756. That would have been yesterday, universal time. That would have been at 356 a.m. local time. Yeah, we got another one down here. And let's take a look at what else we got. That's about it. Okay, we'll bring it over. That's just the ones marked in red. There's another one. Oh, the data's not going to show. I had problems downloading the data. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay, we got several earthquakes there. Yeah, shallow. Look how shallow that is. Yeah. Like I said, the one today, um, it was only 1.8 miles in depth. Let's see what we got here. Bring this. Oops, went off the line. Yeah. So if you guys are feeling some light rattling, it's not your imagination. Yeah, slow moving tremors are going on. I'll give you links to these um, articles that I found. Here's a woman in 1923 with a spinning wheel. And then down here, I'll bring it down and I'll make this bigger. They're making um, cooking down molasses. This image here is from 1923. Making molasses with Clyde Duckett, Minerva Clark Sprouse, 1923. That is so cool. My husband who passed away, his family grew up in the uh, Smoky Mountains. Here it says corn was a widely grown crop, both for human grain consumption and livestock fonder. A more discreet use of corn as a cash crop was for moonshine. There were several still sites hidden in the mountains. An oral history notes that it was a lucrative endeavor for those who did not caught, get caught. Um, one of the stories passed down um, from my ex-husband or husband was that the revenuers had found the still belonging to his grandfather. His grandfather had been previously arrested for um, moonshine making. But his father didn't have a record of it. So when the revenuers came, um, the son, which would have been my husband's grandfather, took the rap, saying it was his still. Another time, they had a still hidden. And the revenuers came, and they didn't realize that they had the mason jars full of the uh, corn liquor hidden underneath the uh, cattle grate. And they stood right on top um, talking to the landowners. I don't know how much time the son spent in jail. But if the grandfather or great-grandfather would have admitted that it was his still, he probably would have gotten a lot longer time because he had been busted before. Here's another image. It says Dr. John Kerr making house calls in Surrette Cove taken sometime between 1953 and 1985. I imagine that was the dates when he was in practice. Often they would take churches and use them for the school, but more than often the school started first and then the church came later. This is supposed to be night school. Uh, picture was taken in 1924. And another image of wheat harvesters taken in 1924. On the right here is from World War I, uh, taken in 1916. It says um, Hillary Garden and Raymond Wells, 1916. Yeah, I hope they made it back. Yeah, a little bit of wonderful history from that area. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Did you feel this earthquake? Like I said, it was a 3.4. Did you have any damaged things knocked off the shelves? How did your pets and livestock react? Yeah, I would like to know all that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, like, share, and make sure you're subscribed. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.